Hi, hello, welcome back to another video. I hope you're having the loveliest day. I just realised I have not done a like food shop haul in a good few months now and I absolutely love watching these kind of videos like especially if you've just been having like similar meals and stuff and with us being still in lockdown in the UK and stuff I just thought it's a good time you know I'm gonna run you through things that I've picked up some of which I get every week and then some other stuff I have just been mixing up and changing around like I definitely feel like the past few weeks I've just been getting a bit bored of different things so I've picked up some new bits and I feel like you guys might quite like them as well it's really good to mix your food shop up otherwise you just end up on the Just Eat app or Deliveroo app. Mason and I went to order an Indian last weekend and I think it was like they were saying it was about an hour and 30 minutes wait obviously because everyone's at home and got the same idea uh, so we ended up just making our own like curry style version it wasn't wasn't amazing but you know for like a first try it was pretty good i made some like naan breads like peshwari naans and they honestly looked like pita breads like rather than a naan bread i know for next time um so yeah i'm just gonna jump straight into this and i'll show you what i picked up I've just sectioned everything out. I got this from Asda. Asda seemed to be the best as it like in my area for some reason. They're the only brand that I can ever get like um, drop off slots with for some reason and it's always like within a few days. So yeah, I just tend to go there because it's easiest um, and I can just click like whatever I got the last week and just like reorder bits and stuff. It just saves a lot of time. Um, but yeah, I do kind of shop around quite a bit. It's never like just like one shop that I'd go to. I've picked up these chicken breast fillets. I got four of these big ones, which can either last like Mason and I a few days or I can just separate them, pop them in the freezer if I'm just like making a quick meal for myself. I really want to make some breaded chicken as well. I've got some uh, breadcrumbs in the cupboard. So I have been quite liking lean turkey mints. Um, it's really good, high in protein and lower in fat than sort of like your beef and stuff like that. So I've been really liking making like a turkey chili con carne. Something else you can do with turkey mints is like make like little mini burger things and then just pop all your seasoning and like your like chopped veggies and stuff like that into them. Um, and pop them in the oven and they're really nice. Got these turkey burgers which are higher in fat than the lean one um, but nevertheless really tasty. Like, I do like having them for lunch as well. Also picked up some minted leg lamb. Um, I'm gonna have this on Sunday I'm thinking. We've mainly been having like a roast chicken on a Sunday so I thought this we might just have lamb this weekend. I get to pick like white fish up so I've got some sea bass this time around and I'm hoping I can make like maybe like a tomato paste or something for that because um, it is a bit bland otherwise but I do quite like it with tomato ketchup very basic I've been having a lot of salmon lately you know I've been baking it in the oven with this sriracha sauce and a bit of soy sauce and oh my god it just tastes amazing sriracha has been something I only discovered like earlier on this year and just changed my life more turkey rashers. I have been a bit bored of these, so I only got one this time round. Um, but yeah, it's perfect for like lunchtime. Seeing any of my other food hauls, of course, I got some chicken Italia hex sausages. I've tried other versions, like um, I think it was the Aldi Chipolatas, and I just don't think they compare to these heck ones. And they're such good macros, really tasty, and like actually flavorful. So I got two packs of those. We do seem to go through that pretty quick. Just to mix things up, I got some. Um, uh, beef stir fry strips like I don't actually eat that much red meat to be quite honest but I just thought I'd throw some something in there I absolutely love a stir fry I don't make these enough like they're pretty underrated aren't they stir fries so that is the meat section oh, I, actually, I look like a big cloud I'm so comfy in this um, jumper. I feel like someone may ask where it's from and it's H&M. Really really nice quality like if you were to compare this with like a PLT one it's just so thick and warm. Um, anyway, get very distracted. So on to the fruit and veg. So I've picked up two packs of the frozen blueberries. These are so nice like in baked oats or just ate oats in general this is literally what I use them for basically and then if I ever do any baking I'll just throw these in. These are also really good for dogs as well so Penelope does ha love a frozen blueberry and obviously a little KG bag of the berry medley, um, 
that has got the strawberries in, again, really good for baking. And I think it's just nice to have both in the freezer, like for smoothies and whatnot. Um, baby spinach, I always make sure, and I would always recommend everyone to always have like spinach in um, their weekly food shop, just because it's just so good. It's high in magnesium. If you don't really t like the taste of veg, like this is so good to throw in because it just like wilts right down. You'll know what I mean, but it's full of good vitamins like for your hair, nails two packs of tender stem broccoli. I thought this would be nice in the beef stir fry um, and just, I love it like frying with that. For like busier days, I've got some chopped um, red onion and white onion. Mason did actually get me onto this like how it fried. I know an onion literally takes a few seconds to chop, but I just, you know in them days where you're just not in the mood for like your eyes to start watering and stuff like, this just makes sense. Got two little packs of those, and then a big pack of carrots. I do quite like, you'll have seen on my Insta story, but I love chomping on a carrot on And also for like a Sunday roast. Seem to be having a lot of those. Like they're such a winter dish. Like, I think every Sunday for maybe two months now, I've been having like a roast of some sort. Um, and a mixed bag of veggies, so carrots, cauliflower, and broccoli. Oh, these are microwavable ones. Yeah, I haven't got these before. My dad used to use these quite a bit. I mean, how cute are these? Some super easy peelers, oranges. Like this week, I've just been struggling. Like, you know, snacks and stuff. I've really gone off, not gone off, but I've just not been craving Greek yogurt as much. You know, like just plain Greek yogurt with protein. So I just thought I wanted to mix up some snacks. So yeah, I've got some little oranges, which are really nice and small. You can have a few of these in the day, you know, like if you're at your desk working away. Some bananas, I always like to have those in to put on top of like my breakfasts and for snacks like on rice cakes. That's something that I've done for so long with like peanut butter. I just thought I'd get some, treat myself to some pomegranates, not pomegranates, passion fruit even. Yeah, I had a passion fruit yogurt the other day and I've just been obsessed basically ever since. I wanted to just like bake more I guess, like just I've been had, like in the winter months, I just seem to crave chocolate so much. Like Mason and I have gone through so much chocolate this week. It always sends my skin crazy. Raspberry and strawberry Hartley's jellies. Like I might put some oranges in there. Probably not gonna put oranges in there. What am I about? Why? Oranges in jelly. In, especially not even orange flavored jelly, you know? Just to have something as a little bit extra like in the daytime. Like I'm a snacker. I like to have my main meals, of course, but like I do like to grade it like throughout the day. So I've got those. Picked up some more chocolate chips. These are white chocolate ones. These are really good for baking and also just to put in your oats and it just separates things like rather than having like massive chunks of chocolate. I've got some reduced fat, coconut milk. Maybe if I'm gonna make like a Thai green curry with that chicken or something. I've got two packs of the Rye Vita multigrain. They, I think they stopped selling the sweet and salty ones. I was probably the only person in the UK that like absolutely adored those things. Like they were so nice. Um, and yeah, 23 calories per rye cake. And they're really nice like with some nut butter and a bit of chopped banana. I don't know what the verdict is on these yogurts. I thought I would get these light and free Greek style yogurt, peach passion fruit. Um, like I said, I've just been going off like plain Greek yogurt, so I wanted to mix things up in that sense. And um, they're 54 cows per 115 grams, so I thought they'd be nice. And I like that they're just in little tubs, like you could take these with you on the go and they're not ram packed with like added sugars. As you can tell, I really am like in a passion fruit mood at the moment. So I've got this mango, papaya, passion fruit, yogurt, exact same reason as the little mini ones. I just wanted to try some new flavors. And then I've got some Starbucks house blend. I did actually order, um, I think it was the blonde roast one. This huge tomato ketchup thing, like this has been a staple of mine for uh, maybe a year or two years, 50% um, less sugar, and I use this most days, so that's definitely a must have. Um, I've got some more refill things, you know, for like the washing up, just one of those washing up dish product, you know, the product thing. You just slide that on. I have, oh my goodness, I completely ran out of deodorant for about three days, and I've been in like a bit of a work mode um, and also a lazy mode. So yeah, so I've just got some more deodorant. I picked up two. I thought 
Again, I've even mixed up my deodorant. I don't normally get these scents, but I've had this one before, just the coconut one. And I also got the pear and aloe vera scent by Dove. Dove is like my kind of go-to brand, really. So yeah, and then I just also got some Dove nourishing milk in the silk. I really like the Dove uh, body washes because I just feel like they actually leave a lovely smell afterwards like, on your skin. I also got just some cordial juice, like, just to make sure I'm drinking more water. I just haven't really been that great on the water intake. Um, and I do think that always helps, like especially on those days, like say if you don't want to have a pre-workout, I've been trying to watch my caffeine. Um, so I think there, that's really nice, like if you do want something other than water, like for your workouts. Um, and then in terms of cleaning stuff, I don't know if you actually like seeing my cleaning stuff, um, but I really am into like all the scents in terms of like my laundry and everything. I've just got this Comfort Blue Sky. I really like these things because they last for ages and I always wash my surfaces with them. Like I'll just put a little bit in the sink and leave it there overnight. And it makes my kitchen smell so nice and fresh. Um, yeah, I love that. Um, I normally get the Sunny Skies one of this, but they didn't have it in. So yeah, just also got some flash with bleach. I just sprayed bleach on myself basically. Coconut oil toilet roll. This makes your whole bathroom smell so nice. It's never usually in stock as well, so I'm very happy to have got that. Um, covered in bleach. Yeah, that is everything that I've picked up this week. Like as obviously like Mason and I are working from home basically majority of the time other than like nipping out, um, we are, I feel like we are going through food way quicker because we're not eating out on the go at all. But um, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Do let me know if you would like to still see, still see? Um, if you'd like to still see these kind of videos, like just showing what I pick up uh, in the comments down below and I'll make sure I do them or if there's any like for like a specific goal, just to mention like at the moment, I'm just on maintenance um, with the gyms being closed and things like that. I've not cut down my calories at all. I've just kept, kept things like quite, same same and i have increased like my volume in terms of my workouts like I, because i don't have like the same weights as the gym and whatnot um but you know just keeping things moving like this week i've just had i don't know i just haven't felt myself i don't know whether it's just a mixture of everything going on and also because winter has just like hit us so hard like i just feel like it's just been so dark this week and um, i've just been trying to keep sort of positive but I've just been feeling so tired like it gets to four o'clock and it's obviously like almost dark and I just start like my brain's just like sleep time when it's clearly not the day is still you know there's still things to be done um but yeah I'm just sending all my love to you guys I hope you're all well all across wherever you are right now um and my inboxes on Instagram are only a message away if you ever need any support or anything um and yeah that is everything if you haven't already, I'd love to stick around by subscribing and joining the fam and I'll see you guys in the next video.